Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Today's book, Boats, Speeding, Sailing, Cruising, by Patricia Hubble, illustrated by Megan Hazley and Sean Addy, published by Marshall Cavendish Children. Boats, Speeding, Sailing, Cruising is like an encyclopedia on boats and boating terms. It shows you, the reader, all different boats and tells you their names. It goes into what some boats are used for and tops it off with the terms of different areas of the boat and other lingo used on boats. I learned an ample amount of boating terms. I feel like a real pirate, or at least a son of a son of a sailor. In fact, I threw on some James Buffet in the background while I was getting down on this book. I bet I could get on a boat now and fool people into thinking I have a past in maritime. The book gets you excited to learn about boats right off the bat, like a hopped up friend at a concert grabbing you by the shoulders and shouting in your face, I quote, boats, 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 woo! I threw in the woo for added effect. It starts you off with the small stuff and their names, like canoes or kayaks, then builds you up to a houseboat. It shows you a trawler with its fishing nets. While I do like the pictures, and they definitely send a nice nautical vibe, the only issue I might have is some of the pictures don't have continuity. One minute it'll be animals acting like humans and driving the boats, the next it's humans driving and the animals are back to being household pets. It's definitely a crazy mixed up world. Some examples would be, the book has a sense of humor showing a whale boat with a whale in it paddling, or there is a showboat with dancing trout on it. Then right next to it, there is a human being in a speedboat. If I were that dude, I would either think I've gone crazy or Planet of the Apes actually happened and I'd be getting the hell out of there fast. The next picture shows a diagram of all of the different sections of the ship, from the galley to the head. And there's a lady with a house cat on the boat. It's a little too confusing for this scholar. The book continues to teach you boating terms like port and starboard, bow and stern, then it starts getting into the big boats, like a cruise ship in the tropics, and even has some patriotism, showing some of the ships of the U.S. Navy, culminating with the aircraft carrier, showing planes flying off of it. You even learn about some of the crew that you might find on these big ships. The oddest picture of the book shows a boy playing footsie with a dog in a bathtub, and they are both dreaming about boats and pirates. I would assume this is the picture that ties in both worlds, but I don't know. Finally, the book throws in a quick moral at the end. The boats, I quote, They do their jobs, then they rest. Got to get that job done, and make sure you get a good night's rest, so you can go out and do it again tomorrow. As you can probably tell, I loved this tome, and I can't wait to see what this pirate looks like at 40 on a boat. The writing deserves even more credit, because she even found a way to put in rhymes and make the words flow from page to page. While I had a little issue with the pictures, I still enjoyed them. Patrish hit a home run with this book, and I hear she has other books on planes and cars that we may need to check out. Overall, on a scale from 1 to 5, with a 5 being I'll have the full bird and all the trimmings, and a 1 being I'm turning my nose up at it and having none of it, I'm going to give this book our highest score yet, with a 4.5. I'll have the full bird and I'll go back and get some of the trimmings too. This goose is cooked. Join us next time for another in-depth book review.